Hello friends, in our last video we saw how to draw out this perspective using the approximation method. Now let us see how the rendering part was done. First of all we are using simple watercolors and some flat watercolor brushes. At places at the end when we start adding the details we may be using a pointed very fine brush. Here we are considering the ceiling to be painted white and so we are showing the grey tonal differences or variations as seen because of the light and shade effect. Very importantly we are considering the light source coming from the right hand side and so all the elements facing the right hand side light source will be in light tones and the areas against the light source will be in dark tones. This is to be remembered all the time. Although as per the lighting design, there may be various light sources in the room. For rendering purpose, if we try to show the effects of all these light sources, then it gets quite complicated and confusing. And so, we stick to any one light source coming from any one direction preferably at an angle instead of facing the elements in the room. This makes things easier to show the light and shade effects. Here we have shown the tonal variations in the ceiling as well as the mirror part. And now we add some color in the niches in the headboard of the bed. Here we are using the analogous color scheme that is three consecutive colors on the color wheel. In this case they are yellow, yellow green and green and along with white as a neutral color. It is very important to pre-decide your color scheme in order to avoid any confusion. Any color scheme from the color theory of the color wheel will do. Normally you wouldn't want to have more than three colors at the most in order to avoid any chaotic situation. Here we have used flat brushes mostly throughout the rendering process as this gives a very nice bold look to the rendering which is so conducive for interior rendering. We will be going over these painted surfaces later on in order to add more details and to show the light and shade effects which will then bring out the three dimensional look of the interior perspective on a two dimensional paper that is the essence of three dimensional perspective. Use big wide strokes of the brush and avoid any evenly painted surfaces as even in reality it is unlikely that you will have an even surface anywhere because of the light and shade effect. You will always be seeing tonal variations even on flat surfaces always. Leave patches of white here and there to indicate the highlights. Lastly, we add some reflections in the reflective surfaces and most importantly the sciography that is shadows of each and every object. That brings us to the end of this exercise. Do try it out yourselves and if you like it,
to subscribe to the channel leave your comments below and like the video thank you